Amazon Prime allows you two-day free shipping, access to the Prime Pantry, and much, much more. I personally use Amazon for nearly all my shopping, so Prime helps me get it faster and allows me to have more options. Check the link out in the description to learn more. Hey guys, my name is Joe Wolfboy, and in this video, we are going to be showing you how to essentially change your toner cartridge because that's the one of the easiest things that you can do. So, roll the intro. Alright, so, I've had a box of TN630 uh, toner from Brother sitting in my closet for a while. And I didn't want to use it because I've... I've just been kind of milking the starter cartridge for what it's worth. And I've got actually 651, which is the low end cartridge about the uh, TN630. I have that cartridge here. The TN660 will give you about 800, so not that much more of a yield as far as um, what I was told. So, obviously, the, the starter cartridge is really more than enough for when you're starting out um, so yeah but for what you have to do it's literally not that hard you just pull on both ends in the back um, normally it's recommended that you shut it off but personally I like leaving mine on because if you leave it on you know when you put it back in correctly because the gears will start spinning back up so you pull this down and out then you essentially lift up and pull back on your uh, toner drum tray. Make sure not to shake your toner cartridge because there is still loose toner inside of it. Now you pull this green flap back right here to release the cartridge. Pull and lift up. And again, be sure not to shake it as you put it off to the side. Now, for your, to for your toner drum, you can essentially leave this and put it off, sorry, your toner roller and uh, everything. You can essentially put this off to the side for right this moment. The next thing that we're going to do is look inside the box to see what is included. So I've already cut this, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull off the top. Trying to cut my hand on the uh, the cardboard. There we go. All right. So inside, you'll have some instructions that will also guide you to helping you replace the cartridge. If you set that off to the side. The next thing, and the only thing in this cartridge box, is your actual toner cartridge. So if you just slide this out and pull off, pull off the pieces. You can go ahead and toss the box off to the side. I'd recommend keeping it at least for a little bit after you've put it in, just in the case that the toner is actually broken or damaged in any way. So then you should see a little lip right here that you can easily break. Now that does break your seal and this then makes this unreturnable to most stores. So once you open it up, Again, just toss the bag off to the side for right now. Once you get uh, this out, go ahead and just slide that off. Again, toss the bag to the side just in case. Now, how you remove the plastic piece is easily lift up on this and then just easily pull away. Attempt not to get your fingers on this black bar as it contains all the toner. Well, most of the toner. The next thing that you want to do is grab your roller and drum holder and simply slide in like you pulled out and then push down until the green clasp clicks. And then simply do the reverse, push in and then let down lightly, then close it and it should start spinning up.
And now you are ready to print another about 700 pages. So go for it. Get it done. So setting change. Well, while we're here, rating would be much appreciated if you enjoyed or if you didn't. If you have a comment, let us hear it down below. And while you're down there, be sure to smack the subscribe button for more videos like this one. Now that you're done with this video, however, you're probably wondering what to watch next, so click the little eye up in the corner uh, to see popular video suggestions. Also, if you like the content, please consider supporting us by changing your eBay, Newegg, and Amazon links to ones with our affiliate codes. Uh, by buying a cool t-shirt, unlike this one, um, or even by donating to us directly, all of which are linked down below. So I want to thank you all again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.